are back and on track now. Again, I have to apologize. What you saw just before the break will never happen get again. No, here no, on I, I promise that. You know how much Jana got fined for hers? I'm, this is never going to happen again. And I do want to tell everybody that we will have counselors standing by if you need them. Just in case you're traumatized. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Well, after okay. dark, it's the weekend. People are looking to have a little bit of fun. Yeah, that's right. And we have some good local DJs around who, who actually do feel-good parties that raise money for things like Project Recovery. And we checked out a party just a couple weeks ago with DJ Jesse Walker. He's mm -hmm. one of the local favorites. Uh -huh. And, yeah, it looked like a good time. Want to so check you, it out? Let's do it. All right. Cool. We decided it was a great opportunity to throw a fun party, and so we decided to make it a big event for charity. Project Recovery is a non-profit sober living environment, and it's for people recovering from substance abuse. So we're kind of a second step after people have completed a residential treatment program. As a salon, we're involved in community projects at least one a month. It's a fun space to entertain and definitely just be involved, I think, with the community. As far as dance music and house music in Salt Lake, a lot of people don't realize that we really do have a pretty rich, vibrant scene. House music that we play is, is the original house music. It's uh, American house music that, that derived from disco. It's like a light bulb went off and we're like, you know, this is so, we never make any money anyways. Why not, um, you know, do this for a good cause and walk away with that great feeling. Well, things like this give people who wouldn't normally be able to afford our services a chance to be able to be a project recovery and, you know, have a real chance at maintaining sobriety. So that's where the whole, you know, uh, get down, do good comes into play. And you're still oh, yeah. partying. Yeah. From still it. grooving. I like that. I like that. Get down and do good. I love that. And, I think that's a great we never, motto. We never make any money anyway. Yeah. They're doing it out of the good of their heart. Well, when you talk about these parties and raves, there seems to be a negative feeling that usually goes hand in hand that most people oh, would like assume. Oh, like they're partying yeah. too much yeah. or something. But yeah. the truth is, they're out there just wanting to have a good time. They're having a good time. And for trying a good to spread reason. the cheer. That's awesome. How often do they do these? Uh, Jesse Walker does W Lounge almost every week. So And all the money. Yep. Yeah, and all the money goes to something great. We call so. it party with a purpose. I like that. Yeah. yeah, kind of on the same premise. I've loved this idea. Mary Nichols once had a birthday party for her twins. It was a party with a purpose, and all the kids went to the food bank oh my and gosh. didn't bring gifts, but they brought food. So kind of oh, the same cool. idea of oh, doing a party, perfect. getting people together for a good time, knowing that you're benefiting others as well. Oh, I love that. That's and, great. And there's there's other That's stuff great. you can do. And we yeah. don't want people to forget that there is a couple days before the Super, the Super Bowl. Bowl. Right. So, so spend your Friday night and Saturday night yep. doing stuff like this.